What's up YouTube, it's Philo here, and today is going to be my final, final video, well, in, final video of the original Star Wars Sega, talking about episode VI, VI, why is there lines? This is like a J.J. Abramson movie with lines on the screen from lights and stuff. Episode VI, Return of the Jedis, uh, episode VI is, it's the last one in the series i don't know it might have been like the fourth or fifth one made or something i'm not sure because they went all out of order and nobody even knows what order they actually made them in um episode vi return of the jedis so so in this movie um basically they do a couple things right right off the bat they kill boba fett which is what we needed because we don't like clone troopers you know pretending to be uh, bounty hunters anymore so that's good um the version I watch is the Blu-ray version, which is the most superior version. So in the in the Jabba's palace, where there's a song being sung, um, they actually have like CGI characters singing the song, and it's so much better than the original one, which didn't have um, singing that was so awesome like this new one is. So that's pretty cool that they have that. Um, what else about Jabba? Uh, what about uh, let's see. Um, some boring things about this movie, though, because it's really not that good, um, is just like the, the constant, like the, the whole the whole end of the movie is like a couple big fights. There's a whole big fight on the on the planet with the trees, you know, and that that's kind of stupid. Um, what the good only good thing about that is the Ewoks. The Ewoks are the little little guys that run around. They're not as cool as the Gungans or anything like that. Not even close. Nothing as as good as the Gungans, but they're they're all right. Um, but then you got the boring space battle, you know, just ships flying around and shooting each other and explosions and people showing people in cockpits and they're like, let's go red three and you know it's like red leader and who cares about all this kind of garbage? No one wants to see that kind of uh, stupid stuff. And then you have a, another thing going on inside of the second um, Death Stars. Um, you know, with the Luke fighting Darth Vader, and I'm not going to spoil it for anything. You know, I don't want to. If you haven't seen this movie, um, you know, maybe you don't want it spoiled, and that's fine. But like, there's a whole. The only good thing I liked about that, and especially on the Blu-ray, is um, and if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about when Darth Vader yells "No" twice. That just hit me. I was like, wow, that was actually really well done. I'm so glad that's in there. Um, you know, because when he didn't say anything, I wasn't sure what was going on. But now that he says no twice, I know exactly what's happening. And I think that really improves the movie overall. But even still, it's a terrible movie. Um, it, it's not, you know, not nearly as good as like Attack of the Clones was. Um, so it really kind of ended Star Wars on a, on a down word uh, uh, level. Uh, you know, it just, Star Wars, it just wasn't that good. So hopefully The Force Awakenings will be better than this. Hopefully be much better than something like Empire Strikes Back. Um, and we'll see if we can get to the level of Attack of the Clones or the Phantom Menace again. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to find out tomorrow. And, um, well, find out tonight, actually. Uh, you know, I'll be posting my review tonight because I'm seeing it early. So thanks for watching, guys. And, um, yeah, what did you guys think of Return of the Jedi's? Post your comments in the section. Post your comment in the comment section below, and I'll respond.